Okay, so first off, who here has ever been hunting before? Okay, so we got a couple. Well, a lot of people may see hunting as cruel or harmful to animals in today's society, but it can also help out many people in our nation today. The NRA Hunters for the Hungry program is a charity organization that has been around for over 25 years, and it has, it has had a great effect on society today. <clears throat> so, what is Hunters for the Hungry? <clears throat> Hunters for the Hungry is a charity organization that works alongside hunters and fishermen. They take in donations of wild game and fish, and they make meals for people who are less fortunate. <clears throat> a little bit of history about this program. It was created by the NRA in 1992. The NRA is the National Rifle Association. They believe that too much meat from animals and hunters was going to waste, so they decided to do something about it. Uh, the organization was based out of Virginia. It was actually, the first location was based out of a town called Big Island, Virginia, and that's about 30 minutes from Lynchburg. Um, the organization started out small and it began to grow over time. Uh, it became nationwide in 1996. A lot of other states heard about the uh, organization in Big Island, Virginia, and they decided they wanted to participate in it. Um, over 25 states now participate in the program. Uh, it's continually <coughs> growing, and it's only getting bigger. <clears throat> so a little bit of my personal experience with this program. Uh, my family started con contributing three years ago, back in 2014. Uh, we donate at least a third of what we get each year. And this, this might not sound like a lot of meat that we donate, but a lot of people in my family hunt, so it adds up a lot. And, uh, my hunt last year, it was, uh, it was actually a really like, big experience for me because I went on a hunt with my uncle, and I had three deer tags, and I was fortunate enough to fill all of them. And after... Um, <clears throat> After I got the deer, we went and cleaned them, and we uh, dropped them off at the food bank down at a Big Island. And it was just really cool for me because, like, you can you can see like how you're helping and everything like that. So it it personally touched me. It was a very good experience. <clears throat> so I have a short video on um, hunting for the hungry. It, it's an older video. But I think this video shows like how the program has advanced over the years and how it's like grown and gotten a lot better. So. High-quality protein is a form of medicine as well by local food banks. And thanks to gracious hunters and processors, these nutritious meals were provided to our neighbors who really needed a helping hand. If you hunt, please consider sharing some of your harvest this season. You can learn more at tnwildlife.org. Thank you. So a little more about Hunters for the Hungry. Uh, 5.6 million pounds of food was served in 2016, and that equated to 10.2 billion meals. And this was their biggest year yet. Um, they're still looking to improve, though. Hopefully they want to improve each year as it comes. Uh, the program has over 10,000 volunteers nationwide. The amount of volunteers is going up each year as well, and they hope to improve on that. 
And if you want to support this program, you can support it at the website that I've listed above. And these are my references.